Hey, how's it going everyone? On today's episode, I'm going to show you how to do custom titles and watermarking in iMovie 09. Um, the first thing that you want to make sure you have selected is if you go up to iMovie, select Preferences, you have the Show Advanced Tools option selected. This allows you to do the cutaways, the picture-in-picture, -picture, and some of the green screening things. Um, but if this isn't selected, then your little pop-up window won't show up when you bring your image in. So, I have my image right here. This is a PNG image, as you can see, uh, and it is a transparent background. Uh, one of the things that iMovie automatically does is it does an automatic Ken Burn whenever you bring one of these pictures in. I don't know why it's set up that way, but if you try to refit the picture, it takes away the transparency of the background. So that's why it's really important whenever you do a logo or have some sort of title text to leave adequate room around it to compensate for that Ken Burn. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to grab this picture, put it right over my video, and select picture in picture. Now if I go over here, let me zoom in for you guys so you can see this. So once you get your image onto your video, you can adjust it. I like to have mine here in the lower right, adjust its size a little bit larger. Now if you go into the... Uh, if you click on this little square button, or you can go up to Window, uh, Cropping, Ken Burns, and Rotation, you'll notice that it, it automatically does what's called a Ken Burn. So, um, in order to be able to kind of get around this, you want to make sure that you have adequate room around your image so it doesn't cut your image off too, too small. Um, if you click Fit, which it would show your whole picture, for some reason iMovie does this. And it makes it all black, and that's something that you don't want. So let me go back. And just make sure it's Ken burned and you can see it right there if you double click your image it'll bring up an inspector window it allows you to do just a, a dissolve zoom and swap um, effect you can also uh, change the picture as if it was a video so I could change the text um, I could even go in and be able to change the hue saturation and all the different three color gains so um, that's another way just to mess around with it one other way that I found that works really well if you're doing uh, if you have a, a logo that you don't want to move much, um, take your Ken Burn and have it start the same place that it ends. This will take away the movement of the actual image. So I'll just give you a quick idea of how this will look. I'll just go right through here. And it comes in. If you have any more questions about video watermarking or custom titles, uh, post your questions to my YouTube wall. I try to get back to people within uh, one or two days. So, uh, yeah, if you found this tutorial helpful, please subscribe. This is the How To Mac. Thanks for watching.